I don't give a fuck about no bitch, no baby, no puss ass rapper, ain't man jail, none of that bitch ass shit. You hear me? Y'all gonna do what you gonna do me, you hear me, bitch? Stop playing on me, man. Scary ass nigga for nigga. Yeah, your bitch ass. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. Ain't nobody yeah. scared. Hey, you better Who get some hey. hey. I don't fuck about none of shit. Hey, you don't like me? You don't like me? I don't be saying any of y'all anyway. I don't like performing. I don't like rapping. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I did this shit for money. I got money now. I ain't got no excuse to do this shit no more. You hear me? You bitch ass niggas capping. Yeah, back to what I said, though. <laughs> All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there? Look, I like covering NBA Youngboy. Um, and it, it's not like I just do a crap ton of views off Youngboy. I like the brother's music. Y'all know that's been a theme all 2018 for me. I, I listen to Youngboy a lot. I, I'm doing a top 10 artists of the year next week, you know, as we close the year out. Thank y'all so much for the love this year. Youngboy is on the list. All right, Youngboy will be on my top 10. My top 10. We ain't doing the mainstream. I'm telling y'all who I listen to, all right? Young boy's gonna be on the list. He's in that top five, actually. I can tell y'all that. A little tease. I love listening to NBA Young Boy. I think he's as talented a young hip hop artist I've seen in the last four or five years. I I'm gonna be honest with you. He's super talented. He's got a great sound. He's pretty melodic with it on those hooks. He's he's talking about something. You see struggle and pain in his face. You see it, all right? I think some of the real ones we we know we know when you when a rapper is really living a life and i'm not just talking about being in the streets i ain't i ain't just talking about that i'm talking about man to man i see pain in homie face when he when he when i look at him right and it i kind of just get attracted to his music i just it just kind of just sucks me in right so when this dude talks we try to cover it because i want to believe this dude i want to believe the music so I, I listen to him when he talks and he was frustrated after a show. Remember, we talked about it on my platform yesterday. NBA young boy, he essentially he got got into it with a fan. A fan went for his chain and he got upset. So after the show, young boy went and hopped on Instagram live. By the way, you probably should never hop on Instagram live after you just got into a physical altercation with a fan at a show. You probably should never do that. Now I thought a female fan went for his chain, but my the Pharaohs were telling me in the comment section yesterday that it was a guy that went for his chain. I thought it was a female. I slowed the video down. I thought it was a female. Apparently it was a guy. So, so young boy decided to go off on the female fans, the male fans, and he pretty much told all his fans, yo, I'm only in this for money. And, and if, if that's true, that's very um, unfortunate because this dude is so talented. That's crazy to me that you got an artist saying, I'm only in it for the money, as talented as young boy is. He's better than 75% of the young, the other young rappers. 75, damn near more than that, 85% of the other young rappers. He's saying I'm only in it for the money and he's still better than pretty much all the other young artists. He's not a mumble rapper. He really is talented. That's crazy to me. I, I want to believe young boy was just talking at the side of his neck. He was frustrated. I'm going to give the young brother the benefit of the doubt. Might have been high. Uh, might have been, might have been a little drunk. I'm not saying he was. I'm just saying he might have been under influence a little bit and probably was talking at the side of his neck right i don't believe young boy believes that i think he cares about the fans you don't go get in if young boy was only in it for the money like he said he is you don't go get in the crowd that's been young one of young boy's problems is he wants to be too uh interactive with his fans he ends up in the crowd and that's why people reach for his chain i get it you're frustrated i he doesn't believe that he's just talking imagine if tupac had instagram y'all we've all heard stories right about how wishy-washy Tupac was from day in, day out. Man, Tupac probably one day will be saying, fuck all this activism shit. The next day he probably be speaking to Black Power shit next to, to Malcolm X or whatever. You know what I mean? Or next to a Malcolm X poster or whatever. Like, I'm sure Tupac had his good days and, and definitely had his bad days. Imagine these phones being around. I'm not comparing young boy to Tupac. I'm just saying like that that's like you you can't judge these artists day in day out and i've seen a lot of people saying damn young pharaoh young young boy don't care about his fans i just think he probably was under the influence and spoke out of pocket I, I, you, the music that he makes you don't care you 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 admit you got herpes in your music in 2018 fam you don't do that unless you care about the product that you're putting out sorry i don't believe you young boy i'm calling bullshit on it his music is too good 
you don't go get in the crowd during your performances if you don't care about the fans. Why do that? Just go collect your bag, leave, get in the city, get out. You want to touch the fans. You care about your fans, young boy. You just a little bit, a little bit frustrated, and that's fine. He he, cool. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. Young boy claims he don't care about his fans. We call him bullshit on that. Too passionate of an artist to not care about his fans. He cares. Just a little bit of frustration on his, on his part. His his homies around him probably should take his phone though. When he goes on the ranch, he needs somebody to step up and be like, "Give me your phone. I'm out." For those who don't know, in the month of December, I gave away through my company over $500 of Amazon gift cards. They were placed randomly throughout videos throughout the month. But in January, I want to take that to an entirely new level. I'm giving away through my company four $100 Amazon gift cards to four random pharaohs. You heard me. I will be handpicking four people to give $100 to personally. Amazon gift card giveaway going up in January. To win the $100 Amazon gift card, I'm going to be honest because I'm handpicking the person. You need to prove to me that you down with my movement and what we got going. I need you to subscribe to both my YouTubes. The hip hop YouTube is at is Mr. Teller Farrell, and the sports YouTube is Farrell Reacts. I need you to follow my Facebook page at is Mr. Teller Farrell. I need you to follow me on Instagram at Mr. Teller Farrell TV. That's the correct Instagram for the giveaway. And then while you're there, I need you to like five posts. And if I were you, I would continue to like posts throughout the month. We're going to pick four winners throughout the month. So if I were you, I would like as many posts as you can that I do create on that news Instagram. Then once you're done, I need you to prove it to me. So screenshot that you took care of all that bit of business and DM it to me on Instagram at Mr. Teller TV.